Hello, I'm back at Slimbridge and I'm on my way to find a Buick Swan. From the Peng Observatory, you can see what was the original founder of Slimbridge, Peter Scott's home. He used to observe the native British birds from there, looking out on this beautiful wetland landscape. The swans you can see in the foreground are Buicks and they've flown all the way from Siberia to be here for the winter. Peter Scott studied the Buicks carefully and noted something very unusual. Each swan has its own markings around the beak and here you can see Peter's meticulous drawings. He's also written the day they arrived and each one was given a name. So how am I going to make the first mark? I've decided to do some sketching before I start painting today because I want to get more familiar with the shapes that I can see in the swan. So what I find helps is to keep the pen moving because if I stop I start to think too much and all I want to concentrate on are the shapes. You'll notice also that I have a little pair of binoculars which I'm going to use to see details and also if the swans decide to move a bit further away. I always start by mixing my paints and I'm using Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue, Scarlet Lake, Yellow Ochre, Yellow Lake and White Titanium. On my palette, apart from the beautiful mid-tone colours that I can see in the water, I've mixed a dark tone and I've used that to roughly sketch the outline of the swan. Then, using a background colour, I start to refine the overall shape. Here I filled in the background with the main mid-tone colour of the water. Also I filled in the colour of the swan and then I add a dark tone for the shadows. So of course what interests me is those markings around the beak and using the sketch I did earlier and the binoculars I'm going to try and catch those marks but I am wondering what the name of my Buick Swan is going to be because the tradition has continued each Buick is monitored and given a name. Can you see the five signets? They've arrived from Siberia too and Actually, I know that because a little bird told me that 19 Buick swans and their signets had arrived in Slimbridge just a couple of days ago. So here I'm using a big brush to take away any hard edges around the swan's outline. And now as I'm working on the eye, I've got a very small brush. There's definitely a lot of activity on the lake today, but of course that can change. They've moved away, but I need to find them because I'm working on my Buick's plumage. And even though the swan is white, it's not all white because of shade and shapes. Anything else will slide off or get washed off as they paddle around in the water.
The sun is getting lower in the sky and there are some beautiful colours in the reflections in the water. So here I'm working on these colours by loading my brush with a lot of paint and then leaving it thick or blending it in. It's been such a pleasure watching the Buick Swans and knowing they've made the long and often perilous journey safely here has probably been the biggest inspiration for why I've come to Slimbridge today and painted them. If you're interested in doing some oil sketching using a simple formula, have a look at the description below and follow the link. Thank you for joining me. Until next week.